Right, quick little um, electrical update before we carry on with any other jobs. Sorry, I'm um, butterflying from one topic to another here on the XV535, only because I'm filming this over a number of days and uh, I'm sort of doing bits and bobs in between and a bit of research and that kind of thing, and it sort of throws up new information. Um, towards the beginning of this video, I couldn't quite remember when I was trying to find the source of the misfire I couldn't quite remember whether a year ago or so I'd, whether I'd replaced one or both of the coils on the bike I thought that I'd replaced both coils and uh, plugs caps and HD leads and, and everything all together um, but actually on investigation and sort of inspection of this one um, it looked like I actually hadn't it looks like a year ago or so I had a misfire and a poorly running rear cylinder and I just replaced that coil because the HT lead was arcing across to the block um, and I, I just couldn't remember really when I started trying to find out what the problem was this time round whether or not I'd done both or just the one but it turns out I had just replaced the one coil and that was on the rear cylinder because when you look at the coil it's absolutely whistly clean and really smooth and unscuffed and this one isn't so it looks like I did just replace the coil on the rear cylinder and it's no surprise therefore, so the bike hasn't really been used, but it's no surprise um, that with running it, firing it up, that the front one's now um, suffering from the same problem because this coil is quite old, even though they look the same, clearly they were just sourced from the same place, so or just as a similar part anyway. So. You can see all the scuffing on it, look, that's no way that was just fitted a year ago or so and not been used. And I went through my old purchases on eBay and I could see I had only bought the one coil. So that's why this one was failing, because it's old and hasn't been replaced yet. So I'm quite glad I did that. Anyway, I thought what we do before we proceed with any other bits on the bike is just do a little resistance test on this coil. So I'm going to get the multimeter and check the... Uh, resistance across the primaries which should be about three and a half to four and a half ohms and then I'm gonna check the secondary resistance which you can do across either one of these pins and against the end of the plug cap um, and that should be about 12 to 14 and a half thousand ohms something like that so I thought if we quickly do that we'll have a little look at that and just see what sort of readings we're getting off of this I'm not expecting it to be abnormal because uh, it is just a leaky lead um, and that shouldn't really be affecting the resistance so let's just check to see what we're getting so it's all switched on I've put it onto the I might need to change that down to 200 actually because we're just looking for a reading of two or three or three or four ohms aren't we there you go that's saying 4.6 ohms of resistance across the primaries and I think the range should be 3.8 to 4.6 and it's pretty much bang on its sort of maximum resistance across the primaries. So there you go. I wasn't expecting that to be any different. If we try now against the secondary. Now let me now that should run into the sort of range of about um 12 to 14 and a half thousand and there you go and that's showing showing resistance of 15 yeah 15 and a half thousand so that's that's higher resistance really than the, the system should have so so that is actually um, quite a significant reading really um, which could could have something to do with that sort of dodgy dodgy lead. Anyway, um, so I'm glad, anyway, I'm glad that I'm glad that's all kind of um, been put to bed. That sort of qu query I had in my head about why I've fitted a coil on and it needs changing again because that's just not the case. So anyway, bikes all running okay now. So I'm just I am gonna carry on with the job of doing some of the electrical bits so it really is just the new light and number plate bracket 
Um, so let's crack on and do that.